When you stand six foot four and 235 pounds, you're going to be an imposing figure on the defensive line in high school football. Our defensive player of the year used his beast-like frame to put up incredible numbers week in and week out for his team. At Nolan Catholic, Nana Asafo Mensa has been terrorizing offensive lines all year. He made 53 tackles and 10 tackles for a loss. But Asafo Mensa really was not kind to opposing quarterbacks. He sacked the opposing signal callers 14 times this year and hurried the QB 23 times. His prowess on the football field caught the eye of Brian Kelly, which is why he will be attending Notre Dame next year. It's also the reason Nana Asafo Mensa is our defensive player of the year. And Nana joins us right now along with his coach, David Bowden. All right, Nana, what do you think of the bobblehead, man? Pretty cool. I love it, honestly. It's been one of the coolest things I've ever received before. I mean, I've never even had a bobblehead before, so this being my first one, especially because it's me, nothing but a blessing. Thank it's you. It's going to be a good one. You're absolutely welcome, absolutely deserving of it as well. All right, 14 sacks this year, man. How much do you pride yourself and, and have you prided yourself in your career at getting to the quarterback, even when the offensive line is giving you so much attention? I honestly haven't prided myself in a much because originally I used to be a linebacker, so coming in transition and playing defensive line, I started that my junior year, and I just owe a lot of it to my defensive line coach, uh, Coach Ron Cook, because he's the one that really taught me how to pass for us and what to do, really. So I owe a lot, to, uh, I owe a lot of it to him, honestly. All right, so he's just learning a little bit about this, David, right now. Yeah. For you, as a coach, when you have a guy like that that you know is going to get attention, I mean, how does that help you as a coach, and what's it been like watching him play for you? Sure, well, it's been a, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, he makes me look like I know what I'm doing, which is nice. But uh, uh, Coach Cook did a great job uh, with him in the transition. Uh, he's been, a, he's been a, a, a you know, great mentor to him and uh, our defensive coordinator, Jordan Hampton, as well. But uh, it's been a joy to watch him both on and off the field. And now, Nana, you're headed to Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, uh, you, it's understandable why someone would want to go and play for the Fighting Irish, but <laughs> what was it that set them apart? Why did you decide to pick Notre Dame? Notre Dame was just the school that I really believed that it could give me so much opportunities, not just on the field, but especially off the field. And just I've been a person I've always prided myself in education and life beyond football because, yes, I have the dream of going to the NFL, but I know that it's not going to be a big reality in it sometimes. So I just felt like Notre Dame gave me the opportunity to have the connections in the future and all the alumni base and just also being at Catholic University, I'm really excited to go up there and attend a school like that. Cannot wait to watch him play on a national stage on Saturdays. Man, it's been so fun to watch you play in high school. Congratulations on a fantastic career and a great season this year. And thanks Appreciate for being it. in the studio.